All right, so welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you very much for joining. And tonight we're going to discuss two players, two reggae boys who have made history. And definitely it is recorded in Jamaica book. And this is something that is significant, which is Kemar Roof and Mikel Antonio in the European competition. And we're going to get some details. Also going to speak about his perform, both of them performance. I took, I took a while to really, really get the stream going because I needed to start out do a little preview or a review of the Kemar Roof performance in which I strongly believe it has been significantly um, impressive in accordance even his last performance over it was it midweek or over the weekend we scored a hat trick so he's definitely improving not improved but you have seen some quality some top quality being per, um, per, um, being produced by Kemar Roof but I would really really want you guys to in the meantime just smash the like button since you're here and since you have joined us on the stream just hit that like button and also if you're here for the first time just smash that subscribe button really really happy that you guys um definitely decided to want to join me this evening so let's let's discuss the player so both players as you can see <laughs> top top talent now what we want to discuss is what is it that these two players will bring to this to the table what is it that these two players have, have brought to the table no, I have did a watch. I did a watch along for the Mikel Antonio's performance. Um, that, that um Europa League game. Yes, he didn't score. A lot of people might say because he didn't score, you're a striker. You're supposed to score. But if you are a football person, and you know football, and you you watch that performance from Mikel Antonio, you said nonetheless that was an extraordinary performance. That was a really, really um solid performance from Mikel Antonio, one in which I'm sure most people would be very, very much proud of. And I'm, I'm, I, I was, I'm really, really I'm ecstatic that I did that watch along. I really, really watched Mikel Antonio, despite him not getting a lot of service, despite him not getting a lot um, of service, it really, really show, showcased what he can do, even without the ball. He pressed, he worked extremely hard, he dominated. So as you can see, these are his stats. Um, I have all them, all them um, on, my, on my tablet here. Minutes, 83 minutes. And a total of two shots. Um, both are on target. Um, duels, they encountered 17 duels. He won 11 of those. Um, and that's significant because he was very, very active right throughout the entirety of the game. Um, two key passes. He made three dribbles and they were completed at 100%. One of them was actually to break out of the defense and give his team some level of support. When I check it out, even the long passes, um, I didn't know Mikel Antonio had those long passes, breaking the line, breaking the press, and finding Bowen over onto the right-hand side, in which I definitely thought that was really, really impressive. We have a few people in the comment section. Owen, Owen, bless up. Big up, Owen, Owen. We have um, Derek L. Green. How did I come up with that name? <laughs> yeah, yeah, long story, long story, Derek. Um, Ayas Abdi, big up as well. Jeros as well coming in. Massive respect for, our, for everyone who's coming in. So... Mikel Antonio has recorded himself because this game finished first as the first reggae boy um, to reach a semi-final in a European competition. Um, last time out, they were they were entering the final. The likes of I think about I think of one person has reached into the quarterfinals of a European competition, and that was I think it was King. I believe it was King. I think it was King. No, not King. Oh, a lesser city. The defender lets us sit in him. Why can't I remember his name? <laughs> Why can't I remember his name? And I did a research on him the other day and I did some read. So anyone in the comment section, if you remember the defender from Leicester City um, that played for the reggae, the reggae boy, I just can't remember his name right now. But definitely, it is, it is tremendous what, um, what these two players, Morgan, yes, thank you. <laughs> West Morgan, woo, why are you saying king? <laughs> Anyways, that was, it, 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 that's how it is. Um, but big up, thank you very much. Everyone is coming, everyone is commenting. Richard Green, um, Ayas Abde, Kevin Reed. Big up, everyone. Big up, everybody's coming in. All right, so definitely it was a tremendous performance, I would say, from Mikel Antonio. And the crowd, the, the, the West Ham fans are loving him. The manager is loving him. They, I'm telling you, even though I think that they are overplaying Mikel Antonio, I honestly believe that they are overplaying Mikel Antonio. But that's just how it is some of the time. He's working hard. He's putting the performance. And that is something massive. Now, definitely let's have a look at Kemar Roof's performance now. Now, Kemar Roof significantly came out. Let me see if I can find it. Let 
me find the camera performance good so this here is the Kemaru performance. So Rangers face off against SC Braga. Oh, as I said, West Ham played um defeated um a, a strong, strong, formidable op opponent in, in 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 the Europa League. And definitely, I do believe that West Ham route to the semi final has been really, really a tough one. They played against Sevilla, who is the grandfather of of the Europa League, and then they face off against Leon, a tough, tough team. So for them to overthrow those two teams, I do believe that it is saying that they will reach far in this Europa League um, contest. No, they do deserve that definitely. So let's get to the Kemaru performance. Kemaru they face off against SC Braga. I would say much of an easier team to play against more so than what Mikel Antonio played against but you can see that Kemar Roof had a tremendous game two shots <laughs> two goals which was called um which was taken away from him by VAR which was very very which is very very unfortunate even one of the penalties that they, that was that was um slotted away it was won by Kemar Roof getting inside being an annoying um striker being very very mobile more mobile than I can see him in a long long while um, definitely this looks as if it's a Rangers versus West Ham final and I'm so glad that I started doing the watch along and I'll be watching this journey for both reggae boys now let's look at the stats for 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 Kemaru. he played 104 minutes and the vital goal that Red Arm Kemaru scored was the one in which won the game for them it was the one in which won, won the game in an extra time very very vital goal score for them then now we have um he scored one goal one penalty one hit the woodwork once also the two goals which was not allowed he completed 12 out of 11, um, 11 out of 12 passes and also had two shots on target and three well three was two was blocked one hit the post yeah i think that they not they don't normally count the goal as shot but definitely it's a good look because we have two players now when you look at it now we have the nations league coming up you know what that means <laughs> A tough, tough, tough time coming up in the Nation League for both um, um, Jamaica uh, the, and the Jamaica Reggae Boy fans and the Reggae Boys. Tough, tough um, team coming up um, in regards to the Nation League. And I do believe that it's the right time that these players are, are hitting the best form of their life. It is the right time. And it goes to show that we have the level of talent out there. And bear in mind that over the weekend as well, I think Kema, um, Shamar Nicholson, hit a brace as well so all of these players they are hitting the form at the right right time going to the nation league i'm i'm telling you it's going to be trouble it will be problematic massive massive undoubtedly big up ryan in the comment section owen owen said print <laughs> gerald said imagine rangers imagine rangers and with some final what will some man who this demand them after the panama game say yeah you see for me you now, me kinda let go of certain things. Kinda let go of certain things, you know. It makes no sense to hold on to bitterness. It really does make sense to hold on to bitterness. Um it, it, it don't pay. It, it, it really don't it don't really pay. So it makes no sense hold hold on to bitterness, people. So that's just a part of football. That that is definitely a part of football. But what I'm telling you is that it's a good look. It's really, really a good look. In regards to how the players are getting in shape the players are getting in real real proper 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 form and definitely there's other things coming brewing in in, in the going in the going so we have to say um oh you know and said so so man i figure rub the bench and be happy ah how you go so how would you work out this oh you what would you, what would your starting lineup look like what would your starting lineup look like let me tell me what what, what you think your starting lineup would look like I would re I would, I'm, I'm very interested in what your starting lineup would look like. <laughs> Specifically the front three. Remember, no, I highlighted, I highlighted on um, the regular girls. I did a video on the regular girls. The specific I was speaking about the front three. And they had a combine a combine of 19 goals. And we have scored 24 goals in the four games. They had a combine, a com a combine 19 goals. Five Jody Brown, five Trudy Carter, and and, and nine for Khadija Shah. And then now each one of them has assist to their name. So they, that is saying that they have a lethal front line. We have a lethal front line um, in the, in the regular boys. But that front line, that, 
It's not for the reggae boys. It's actually for their club. <laughs> because even in, in, even in that sense, when you look at even a Bobby almost every game Bobby Reed score for 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 um Fulham. But yet still, when he puts on a reggae boy, when he puts on a jersey, that jersey to represent the nation. What happened? <laughs> what happened? We don't know. <laughs> we don't know at all. Alright, so actually said VAR is the worst. Uh, it's a part of the game, bro. It's a part of the game. Uh Owen oh, said, praying that neither play um, neither player win the trophy. Why? Owen, oh, Owen, oh, why wouldn't you want any one of them win, to win the trophy? I'm an Arsenal fan. And I wouldn't mind Mikel Antonio or even Kemaru win the trophy. Definitely. It doesn't really affect me like that. I'm not in the trophy. So I'm not in the commission. So it does it, do, it does not affect me. Um Al J said the man thing turn up. Yes, brother, step up the PS. Man look like a real host for, <laughs> for his channel. Bless up, man. Bless up. Pagan said, bleep, uh, big up military. Looking sharp. Yeah. Try my best, you know. Trying my best. Let me see if I can turn up the quality. Good. Um, let me see. Actually, said Paul Hall, Shiny Dog, Earth in the Nation League. This is going to be Paul Hall. And you love Robin, Robin Shined. <laughs> and you love Robin Ed. Um, let me see now what else. Gerald said these two guys, as well as Boza, Pinock, Jamalo, Bobby Reed, Paris Bailey, should be sure selection for the Nation League if Paul Hall is in his right mind. And if, uh, even if Paul Hall is not in his right mind, these guys will be a part of the setup. Um, remember, even after the World Cup qualifiers, Mikel Antonio, the last game that he said he did say that he will be he wants to play in the Nation League. That is what that's what came out of his mouth. He wants to play in the Nation League. Um Boss Thomas said Roof was boss today. I feel so proud when I hear the Spanish commentators says the Jamaican. <laughs> I didn't hear that enough. I didn't hear that, but definitely um if I if I if I had heard that, that would have definitely one hundred percent melted my heart I, I i i believe so i totally believe so if i had heard that um but definitely that's that's how it is um he said when when roof score man anyways people so these are the um few pointers i want to give you guys uh i won't say long definitely won't say long hopefully guys are doing good um definitely um this is actually one of the format i'm going forward with with this show trying to give it a semi-professional look and uh, just try to build the brand a lot better um definitely hopefully we'll get some sponsorship on quite soon mm, let's see how that one goes but until next time people until next time people this has been a good one rebranding um restructuring name everything's going to be slightly different but definitely it will be say it will it will be the same because it will be me <laughs> always be the same but anyways people, thank you very much for tuning in oh before you go i have a late night session tonight I have a late night session tonight. This late night session comprised of Europa League, Premier League. We're going to discuss Arsenal, Liverpool, Manchester United, Chelsea. We're going to discuss even the local Premier League. We're going to discuss the Europa League. We're going to discuss the Champions League. We are going to have a late night show tonight. So, all those who plan to go to bed early, tomorrow is holiday. All those who plan to go to bed early, sorry for you guys. But tonight will be the late night show we will have the late night show so make sure that you guys well if you want no problem if you want to turn off for that show but we're having a late night show tonight um all things football uh let me see as i said i mentioned all things football we're going to discuss all things football but definitely it won't be on a tangent we're going to be structured it will be a structured thing so anyways people thank you very much for tuning in all those persons massive respect guys please remember guys to smash the like button guys don't go and don't hit the like button i'm begging you don't go i did all of this all of this <laughs> all of this all of this we need a like button because it really really helps the show people so smash that like button people until next time join us on the late night show if you can no problem if you can't until next time big up military guna tv people we are out boom